On September 28, 1969, a meteorite about the weight of a moped fell on the small town of Murchison, Australia. Residents who remember the incident say that a strange, unpleasant smell spread through the city that day. Now, almost 50 years later, scientists have managed to find out where the unusual smell came from. Hey, don't look at me! The meteorite was covered in stardust, solar grains that formed about 7 billion years ago. The unpleasant smell came from a substance older than our planet and even our sun by 3 billion years. Long before our solar system was formed, this asteroid flew across the vast expanses of space. About 2 billion years into its journey, the meteorite got coated in the dust from extinguished stars. After another 5 billion years of drifting, it arrived to cause a scene on Earth. In 2020, the fossils of a Tyrannosaurus embryo were discovered. This helped scientists to find details about what the ferocious beast was like as a baby. It turns out that T. rexes were about the size of a chihuahua at birth. The baby dinosaur was nothing like its mature form. It had a long tail, and its jaws had tiny teeth. It's likely that it used these tiny razor blades for hunting insects and small lizards until it grew up. Over the years, these teeth fell out to be replaced by the ones we see in films and museums, the size of a human hand. The discovery of the embryo also helped researchers to calculate that the Tyrannosaurus egg was about the size of a rugby ball. In November 2018, a NASA geological robot landed on the surface of Mars. One of its goals was to investigate the red planet's seismic activity and transmit data to Earth. For the first few months, the robot didn't record anything unusual. But in April 2019, it recorded its first earthquake, or more accurately, Mars quake. On the Earth, the planet's surface often shakes due to the slow movement of tectonic plates. Tension builds up in the crust, and the sudden release causes an earthquake. Mars doesn't have any global plate movement, though, so the phenomenon was a mystery to scientists. In 2020, the robot geologist found its most exciting discovery yet. It found that Mars was singing. For unknown reasons, the red planet emits a low-frequency sound. Nobody knows whether this sound and the Mars quakes are related, but neither phenomena are easily explained by scientists. Now, in dinosaur bones, which are several tens of millions of years old, scientists found cellular structures and even hints of whole DNA. DNA is a biological code that contains information about the structure of living organisms. In 2020, scientists are closer than ever to uncovering the dinosaur code. It could unlock a lot of unknown information about these wondrous extinct animals. The bones belong to the skull of a plant-eating dinosaur that lived about 70 million years ago. Inside these fossils, the scientists saw something that looks like cells, frozen in time. They could even find the structures where DNA is stored using a powerful microscope. We don't really have any confirmed knowledge about the genetic code of dinosaurs, so this is a huge finding. Scientists don't try to extract DNA from cells because it could damage the rare specimen. There's a lot of work ahead, but if the researchers manage to get a significant DNA sample, it could be possible to recreate a dinosaur partially or fully. Hey, that might make a good movie or something. We also discovered an unknown species of mammal in 2020. The researchers called it a crazy beast, and it isn't like any other animal that we know of. It lived on the island of Madagascar about 66 million years ago and looked like a bit of an opossum or badger. It has more holes in its snout than any known animal, which means that the animal probably had an overly sensitive muzzle and whiskers. The crazy critter's teeth are unique, with a structure unlike any other animal. It also had more vertebrae in its spine than any other mammal from that time. Overall, this astonishing discovery could help us learn a lot more about the evolution of mammals. Astronomers have discovered an unknown phenomenon in deep space depths. It's called an odd radio circle. These are strange blobs in distant space that glow and look like almost perfect circles. Scientists can't explain the origin of these strange things. 
The original assumption was that the odd radio circles were remnants of a supernova, clouds of debris which appeared after the star's explosion. But it turned out that the circles are too far from stars for that to make sense. Scientists have refuted the theory that these circles are normal radio emissions that are commonly observed in space. There is still no explanation for what these vast astronomical objects are. Only four have been observed since the first discovery in 2019, so it's likely that the mystery will take many years to solve. A strange substance has been discovered on the far side of the moon. Green cheese? Nah. Researchers found images of the objects in pictures received from the lunar rover, taken near a crater. The image shows unusual stones that look like dark green crystals. The substance may be glass that appeared as a result of volcanic eruptions a long time ago, but no one can say for sure. The picture quality is poor, and it would be hard to study the substance in person for obvious reasons. This discovery and further research could help us to learn more about the Moon's origin in the coming years. A team of scientists have discovered an unusual gaseous substance in the atmosphere of Venus, the chemical remains of phosphine. This gas is found on Earth near certain types of microbes. A trace of phosphine on Venus offers us a little hope that life may be discovered on this planet. This is surprising because the conditions on Venus are similar to those inside the mouth of a volcano. There are unbelievable temperatures, and the surface of the planet is under a considerable amount of pressure. In the Venusian sky, among the clouds, the conditions are less severe, making the existence of microbes more likely. Could the finding mean there is other life in the solar system? At the end of 2020, you could watch an incredibly rare event in the night sky – the alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. The two largest planets in our solar system are hundreds of millions of miles away from each other, but briefly, on December 21st, they lined up perfectly with Earth. The planets line up like this about every 20 years, but the last time Saturn was so close to Jupiter was 400 years ago. This incredible event was only visible with a clear sky, and if you missed it, you could find records of it on the internet. Imagine that for two decades, you have been studying a distant star from another galaxy, about 75 million light years away. The star is so hot that it glows with a beautiful blue light, and its light is 2 million times brighter than the sun. Then, one day, it just disappeared. The life of stars like this one usually ends with an enormous, brilliant explosion. In this case, though, astronomers just noticed that they couldn't find it anymore. It's as though the star never existed. One theory is that it immediately collapsed into a black hole without exploding in a supernova first. If that is what happened, it will be the first ever case observed for a star so big. It's also possible that the star dimmed and was covered by a cloud of stardust. Scientists don't know the exact answer, but we will likely find out in a few decades if the star suddenly reappears. Bats use echolocation for hunting. They do this by making a clicking noise to spread an ultrasound wave and listen carefully. If the wave collides with something, it returns back, and the bat can tell how big the object is and how far away it is. It works like sonar does on submarines and ships. This unique technique is a big problem for the bat's prey, like moths and butterflies. In 2020, scientists discovered two incredible species of moth that have found a genius way to hide from the bat's sound waves. The moth's wings are covered with a special fur that softens the collision with the sound, like noise-reducing acoustic foam. They also have fork-shaped scales that hinder the bat's echolocation even more. Several thousand of these scales on the wings reduce the acoustic energy of sound. The weak wave returns to the bat, who simply doesn't notice it. This discovery could help us create a useful nanomaterial that can be pasted on the wall to absorb sound. It could be 10 times more efficient than the usual noise-reducing materials installed in residential buildings and offices. It could be yet another amazing invention created by copying nature. A massive image of a 120-foot cat has been found on a hillside in Peru. It's an ancient geoglyph that was initially really hard to see. 
The work of specialists means that it is finally more visible in 2020. The cat is the latest find from a mysterious group of huge images of animals, known as the Nazca Lines. Archaeologists say the drawing was made between 200 and 100 BCE, and it's a mystery how or why it was created. Here, kitty kitty, 